Why are you so ugly? I wish I was prettier. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to the video. Now before we get to the weight training portion, I do like to vlog a little bit. I do like to show you guys a little extra content in every video if I have the opportunity to. So today I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. It's Sunday and John, you know John, Obese Beast, John Glaude, the man that I work with all the time. He's actually gonna be doing his first speaking venture. He's gonna be doing his first, um, uh, public speaking I guess, motivational speaking at a church. So he wants me to record him with you pointing at you, baby. So I'm actually getting ready right now. I'm editing the rest of a video and finishing up some breakfast. I have about an hour and a half and then I'm gonna head over there and we're gonna record John. So I'll show you guys a small little snippet of that right now. I know it's gonna be like an hour long thing, so I'm sure you can watch it on his channel. But I'll show you guys a little snippet of that. All right, let's go. All right guys, so we just got here at the church. Uh, I have my tripod, I have a bunch of other tools in my gym bag. And uh, I'm gonna go in there and record John, see how this goes. Hope this isn't like horrible church attire because it's all like super bright. People might be wearing like suits or something. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. I hope you guys like this. You know, stop fighting me or whatever. Help me, help you or whatever, right? God's, he's trying to help us. He's going through his process. So check it out. This this is what just happened. I, uh, I sat in that church for the last hour and a half and Oh, so John's brother is on stage. He's like playing the guitar or whatever, right? So I'm like, okay, this is the right place, right? Because his brother's there. So I'm like, oh, he's just going on after the sermon. I just came, I guess, really early. So I'm sitting there and listening and listening. The guy's like, oh, we're gonna wrap it up, blah, 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 blah. And he's not mentioning about John. I'm like, this is kind of weird. And then he keeps like, blah, 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 we're gonna wrap it up. And then he wraps it up and then everyone starts leaving. And I'm like, what's going on? Where's John? Where's the motivational speaky thing that he's gonna do? And I go up and talk to Jean, which is John's brother, and he was like, oh, this is actually a different church. I followed Google Maps, and then when I got really close to here, there's all these signs that say, church here, take a, keep following the road down this way, and the church is to the right, over here. And I'm like, oh, just follow these signs, I'll make it easy. And then his brother's in here, and I was like, oh, affirmative. Ah. So no footage of John talking at all at that church thing. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, I I, I did it. Like, I came and, and tried, but we messed up the directions and the actual spot. So unfortunately, didn't get that. But there's going to be so many more motivational speaks and talks and everything, and it will all be on films. So don't worry, guys. Right now, I'm actually downing this apple, and I'm going to, I'm actually out of water. I'm kind of dehydrated, so I'm going to eat this, rush to the gym, and then sit there in the locker and chug water for a while and hit back and maybe I'll be able to film a couple sets but honestly this is a huge camera I don't there's not really a way for me to show you how big this camera is but it's like it's like as big as your forearm that's how how yeah it's huge it's gigantic uh, but I'll try to I'll try to bring it in with me and see if we can get away with a little filming Babushka all right guys so obviously wasn't able to get a lot of footage but I got that one one set of rows in but my workout I will tell you was freaking amazing I just got a sweet solid pump sat in the sauna for a little bit and now I'm trying to take today a little bit easy you know even though I did a video project earlier and I'm gonna do a little video project with Kurt in a little bit but first we're gonna go get some sushi you know kind of take it easy have lunch out it's gonna be nice I'll show you guys what we get uh, damn this is a big camera to take in with me Whatever. I'll take it with me. Whatever. Let's go. Alright guys, so I just got here and if you can look real closely. Yeah, there we go. Zoomed in there. There's Kurt. <laughs> On the phone with his girl, I'm presuming. Or his mom. One of the two. One of the most important ladies in his life. Um, I can't bring the whole microphone in here because I wish I could show you guys. Maybe I could show you reflection off the cell phone. Is it working? Oh, dude, that was smart. Yes. You see how big this camera rig is? It's huge. With the microphone, it looks... Ridiculous. I'm gonna bring just the body in and then I'm gonna narrate it with Kurt right now. Blind, after we eat it, we're gonna narrate it. It's gonna be funny. Let's do it now. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the food that we have here. We have delicious Hawaiian roll without avocado because yes. it's bad for the pot. Mm, and then such delicious raw fish for the strength of the heart. Here, fishy, fishy. What did you get? I got a dinosaur roll with it. <laughs> oh, dinosaur roll. Oh, it was so good. Oh, wow. It's that one right there. I like that one. Yes. Oh, that one was so good. <laughs> I 
so got the fish roll. Oh, right there. It had fish on it. I see it. I see on the fish. It looks so good. Oh, it. Let me tell you, my friend. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. It made me. I see Jiggle it. in my butt. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got home and uh, Kurt's actually outside right now. He went to go get some hair product for his hair, so he doesn't know that I'm doing this. But um, we're going to film him right now for a little live, just him jamming out, and we're going to uh, put this up on his channel. But he doesn't know I'm going to show you guys, so I'm going to show you just a little clip it of this video that we're about to shoot. I think he's going to do a cover song, so we'll see how it goes. They take it to your room and love somebody. Do, do, let me get it, beep, beep Running her hands in my fro Bouncing on 24s While they say on the radio the remix to Ignition Hot and fresh out the kitchen Mama rolling that body Got every man in you wishing Sipping on coke and rum I'm like, so what, I'm drunk It's the freaking weekend, baby I'm about to have me some fun Singing Screw we off in this Jeep, fogging windows up, blasting the radio. This is so good, dude. In the back of my truck, bouncing up and down, stroking round and round to the remix. Go check out my best friend's channel. Out. Watch this video. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, guys? So it's the next day and I just woke, well I woke up like an hour and a half, two hours ago. I've been working on some stuff, but now I'm doing what I do every Monday, which is make the Accutane slash life video. And so I've been, I've been like working on YouTube and whatnot, answering comments and all that stuff. And I was actually checking to see if there was questions enough to answer fan questions in this episode, but there's not. So instead I'm gonna be talking about a topic and I thought a good topic to talk about it's just stress and just how it's manufactured by yourself. Like it's only created by you stressing about some sort of stimulus. Anyways, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to record this video, then I'm going to edit it down. I don't really know what I'm going to do today, but I'm excited to show you guys the lifting because we're hitting chest today. Let's do this. Woo! All right, guys, so I just finished my Accutane video. Now I'm going to upload it to my computer and I'm going to edit it. It's going to take me about an hour and a half, two hours. I'm also gonna eat some food probably. So it's 10.45, probably gonna leave here about 12.30 to go to the gym. Um, let's see, what am I gonna eat for lunch? I'm gonna have, I am gonna have refried beans and rice and a tortilla, I think. I think that'll be good. All right, so I'm gonna get this acting video done and then we're gonna go off to the gym. All right, so it is now way later. It's one o'clock almost and my acting video is rendering. I know that's kind of a weird freeze frame. This is the acting video, believe me. Um, but yeah, a lot of you guys don't really see the behind the scenes part of what goes on with the channel. You know, you just see the videos every day, of course. Um, and I don't feel like a lot of people understand what goes behind all these videos. Like lots and lots of editing. While I've been sitting here editing, it's pretty hilarious. LP is over here also editing. This is what we do. Like this is always how it is. We're always dual editing. There's rarely a time that like one of us is editing without the other one editing just because there's always projects for both of us to work on for our channels. But we're finally done with that. I digested my food that I ate earlier, the beans and, and rice in a tortilla. And then I just had one glass of orange juice or one cup, I guess, one serving of orange juice, 110 calories. And I'm waiting 15 minutes to let that digest. Then we're gonna take our pre-workout and drive down to the gym, which will take another 20 minutes. And then by that point, I'll be completely ready to hit this chest day. I'm gonna try to take you guys with me. It is midday, so it might be a little weird. We might have some weird shots, but I'm gonna try to take you guys with me. And I'm gonna try to narrate the, uh, the chest portion of this workout. So, without further ado. I need to get myself some food I forgot to eat. <laughs> Let's go. What's up guys, I hope you're enjoying the video thus far. Now, I haven't done a video where I'm talking about the weightlifting that you're actually watching on screen and I feel like that provides valuable input that, you know, can provide some cues for you to think about when you're doing this. Now, I like to do suicide grip, which means that my thumbs are not wrapped around the bar. I do not suggest doing this. Seriously, do not do this. I just do it because otherwise my elbows really hurt. A cue that I like to think about is I like to squeeze my chest like a most muscular before I actually even pick up the bar and push up and down a couple times, squeezing my muscles, my chest, and then I try to hold that same idea, that same muscular contraction as a flex, but I pick up the bar. So it's just like trying to do a weighted flex. I've said that before, but I really do think weighted flex, that's a great way to think about what you're doing. And it gives you 
uh, a better mind muscle connection at least in my experience so after that I went over to the 90 pound dumbbells and went for a little bit higher reps I usually do like 105s or 110s for like something like six to eight reps but I want to do a little higher reps today I also wanted to see if I could get a better contraction in my chest and one of the things that I like to do is I kind of like to twist my elbows in kind of like internally rotate as I'm coming up from the bottom of the lift, from the bottom of the range of motion. And this kind of helps me activate my chest and get a better contraction, but it also helps me drive more power, you know, generate more power. Now, usually on my chest days, I like to start with really heavy uh, compounds like barbell bench, dumbbell bench, or like weighted dips or something like that. And then after I've done two different exercises of you know kind of free weight heavy stuff I like to move into the isolaterals and I'll usually do either one or two exercises with these isolaterals because it takes the stabilization out and allows you to just think about that weighted flex just squeezing your pecs and concentrating on getting a good pump now this is funny as uh, I didn't have LP around he was doing whatever his set was so I had my buddy Gavin here who has a new channel Gavin Gaines he's working on editing and whatnot but I had him record me and uh, it's funny Here's the uh, out of focus, and then he gets it in just a second. But the cool thing was that he was, he just so happened to be wearing the exact same tank that I was wearing this day, so you'll see that in a second after this. But on this machine, the pec deck, instead of having your elbows at a 90 degree, like having your arms at a 90 degree angle, I love to set my arms up that way so that I know where my elbows are gonna be positioned, but then I extend my arms out straight like this. And basically, you're just doing like a bear hug. You're just basically doing a weighted hug, and it seriously gives you the best contraction ever. You you guys should really try it out and I think you're gonna like the the form change there was Gavin right there also with this exercise because it's my last one for chest I like to superset my last exercise because I'm doing something that's a, like a fly or something something that doesn't require a lot of um, it's like stabilization something I can really burn out on I'll finish it by supersetting with push-ups because at that point I'll only be able to do like you know six to twelve push-ups instead of being able to do like 20 or 30 whatever so this is just a sample uh, of one of my chest workouts it always changes it's always different but then after this, I finish up with shoulders, but you could also do this and then finish up with triceps. So as you guys can see, we just got Chipotle, we're heading home, got some video editing to do, but I'm gonna show you guys what the burritos look like in just a second. I'll tell you right now what best feeling in the world is. Coming home with big, big warm diaper bag of burritos. And I know you guys wanna see this, so I've zeroed it out. Let's see what we weighing in at right now with the burrito. What does that say? What does that say? I can't see. Ooh, one pound and five ounces. What about both? Damn. Both? <laughs> both. Both is gonna be a lot. 2.9, 2.09. Oh, it's falling. It's falling. Oh my. That's a lot of burrito, man. That's Holy. A That's a lot of poop. Holy crap. <laughs> Woo, let me show you guys what's inside of this. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I got to eat. I got a double wrap burrito, pro tip, black beans, brown rice. I got half chicken and half steak. Now, if you do that, it's the same price, but it's twice the, twice the meat. They aren't gonna, they, come on, you know, half and half, do it guys. And then I got mild salsa and I got lettuce and that is it, that's it guys. I'm gonna put some of their Chipotle hot sauce, which I have here and uh, it's gonna be amazing. All right, I just finished up doing what I was doing. I'm sitting here watching John, Obese to Beast's new video, and he like texted me and was like, dude, I really want you to see this. Um, and I'm impressed, look. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly how you get better at videos. You just keep making bigger and bigger projects that are just more and more grand until you just get better and better at it. This is awesome. I didn't know that John even knew how to produce things like this. He's been, he's been working hard behind my back. Speaking of my back, that's my back. <laughs> this is awesome, man. I'm gonna text you right now. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me. Yes, this is the super atypical Brian Turner fridge shot. I'm gonna do this one all the time. You guys know that. If you made it this far in the video and you've enjoyed yourself, why don't you share this on over to Facebook? I really appreciate when you guys spread the word. That's how the channel grows the most. Also, like and comment if you haven't already. And if you're not following the channel, then please hit the subscribe button because then you'll get updates Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday when new videos are up as well as a few unscheduled ones that 
that are off the charts, which is always a lot of fun. Appreciate you guys coming in here. A big shout out to Spain, all my people in Spain, and follow my second channel. There's awesome material in there, follow it. It's, it's in the annotations coming up, and it's below the video. I love you guys. Team Beyond the Week, Big J. Lift heavy or die, Myron! Yeah!